I'm going to begin, uh, Dylan. I just suppose, I mean, this Thomas this must be a character, and, and this whole is, uh, world is one that means so sort of much to people. It must have been quite such an incredible, kind of overwhelming experience, I guess, at times, to, to share this relationship with, with the fans and people that were sort of such pre-established fans before this movie was ever made. Yeah, it is really cool, and something to be totally thankful for and grateful for, you know? I think it can be, so, it can be intense sometimes, and um, it is odd. It's, not, it's obviously not like a normal uh, thing for a human to go through with that kind of... Uh, reaction to them or I don't know things like that but it's it's I the way I think about it is it's 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 really just amazing that they've I don't know that you could ever be a part of something that resonates with anyone at all let alone um, you know having this whole support and this entire fan base you know uh, constantly behind you constantly with us throughout it's just uh, something to be grateful for because otherwise we wouldn't have made the three movies you know I mean, this, this sort of uh, franchise represents quite a big chunk of your working life. It must be quite sad yeah. now it's all over. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's true. It's, it's a big percentage of, I mean, between this and um, Teen Wolf, you know, those were it's pretty much taken up most of my experience in the industry, you know. So, um, all downhill from here. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> Straight after this interview. <laughs> this is exactly. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> You're here to bid me farewell. Basically, yeah. Great. <laughs> And uh, I mean, well, on the same note, you obviously had quite a, you went on, had an accident on set yeah. of this movie. Yeah. Um, do you think that in some ways the kind of accomplishment of getting this film made and having and getting it made to such a high standard was even more fulfilling because of what everyone had to go through, not just yourself, mm. but when, when you had to obviously had that accident on set? Yeah, obviously, it, you know, uh, for me, for a ton of reasons, it obviously yeah added a whole another layer to it, you know, and I think for everyone else too, you know, we're all very close and. Uh, we're all affected by that, you know, that it was a very scary situation, you know, and um, it does, it makes it, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't know, it, it, it does carry a little more weight, I guess, because of what happened. Uh, we've all really been through um, amazing times and like the worst of times together, like that was not, uh, that was, was not a great thing to go through together, you know, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think either way, it's obviously still uh, very important to us finishing this and, and now sharing with it, going through uh, this last press tour with each other and putting it out to the world. You know, it's um, still momentous, but yeah, I guess it, it definitely adds something to it. And off the back of this, and obviously American Assassin as well. I mean, do you, would you consider yourself now something of an action hero? Is oh, that yeah. a genre you'd like to explore further as well? I mean, I don't consider myself something of an. I am a an action hero, so. I don't know why you'd even... Next question, man. Yeah. Well, the next question is tied to that. Um. <laughs> because, uh, you've no, I don't, by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, The Expendables <laughs> uh -huh. is a great franchise that yes. just, deals with, just deals purely in action heroes. Yeah. It, it means nothing but action heroes. They keep bringing my phone off the hook. Yeah, man. I was going to say, was that, would you like to get involved in that one? Because Scott Atkins, obviously, you worked with him before, and he's in The Expendables. He can oh, put, no he, way. He can put a word in. Oh, I would love to work yeah. with Scott again. I would love to do... He's going to... I feel like he... he uh, when we were working together, he was about to direct his first film, I think I would be in any movie that he ever does, so yeah, I mean, if it's any Expendables movie or something, just to go for a beer with the guy, I really like, enjoy the, the person. I'm talking about, direct <laughs> talking about directing, I mean, you've said before that you used to make kind of movies when you were growing up. Yeah. I mean, is directing, is that, is that an ambition you kind of, do you harbor any ambition one day to sort of direct and do stuff behind the camera? Yeah, I do have that ambition. Um, you know, I've always pictured it really down the line, especially, you know, when, obviously I'm 26 now, it's not, I think it'll come up quicker than uh, I think it's going to. Um, but I really respect the position. It is where I feel like I completely operate from anyway as an actor. It's everything that informs me in front of the camera. So it is where I started from too. It's, I really think it's the lens that I look through everything at. Um, um, it's how I understand, I guess, what to do at all. So I would love to get back to it at some point. I have such respect for the position. I've always said that like, you know, I'd never, I really want to, um, know exactly what I'm doing, feel confident to command a set and a crew and put a film out, you know, before I, I take the chance and do it. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to get into that. Do you remember any of the movies you did make when you were younger? Yeah, of course. What, can you, can you tell us about any? Um, well, the ones that are online, I can try to remember ones that I don't think people have seen, um, which is tough. I, I, it's hard. I don't know. I'll try to, uh, uh, well, movies that people have seen, it's, it's, I don't know. I had a whole, I put like a franchise out, a mini yeah. franchise out, you know? Uh -huh. It was like a saga. It was, it was, uh, it was me asking an older woman to marry me. Did and she say yes? She did not. No. So thank you for rubbing that in. That's good. And <laughs> this guy out here, please. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> but off the back, I mean, obviously, say, I mean, obviously, action now is, is a, a genre that you, you enjoy, and these films require sort of lots of stunts and stuff like that. But yeah. are, you, are you looking forward to doing more kind of maybe subtle, more understated kind of dramatic pieces oh, as well absolutely. in the future? Absolutely. Pieces like the asking old women to, to marry you, those, so, <laughs> yeah, those yeah. sort of things. You know? Exactly, yeah, where I started. Yeah. Um, an Oscar roll on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, something, you know, something smaller, quieter, more character based. Uh, um, yeah, you know, anything, any different kind of genre, different role, different story, uh, different setting, you know, it's always nice to experience as much as you can as an actor. I think that's everything you, that's how you learn, you know, and especially me, you know, I did not grow up, I did not train or go to school for years or anything. So, um, yeah, I, I'm uh, mostly interested in things I haven't done. But I think you should grow another beard again. That was good, American Assassin. You know, good beard. old seven months with that thing. Sometimes yeah. I look back and I'm like, man, actually lived with that for more than half a year of my life. <laughs> and people, and my girlfriend did not leave me. It's right. great. Great, well thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!